And now I would like to introduce our Sinclair Society Chairs, uh, Mike and Molly Gannon. Mike is president at CRST. Uh, Molly is a community volunteer. Uh, they have been running like crazy. They've been challenging us. They've been setting big goals. And we are absolutely delighted to have them chair this society this year. So please join me in welcoming Mike and Molly. Good evening. I think I'd like to crawl in that little hole right now. <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody for coming tonight. Uh, it's a great, great night to be here, especially in this fabulous place. I think this represents the revitalization Lois talked about about Cedar Rapids. We've got a great, great community here, and, and, and this is just uh, a, a great place for us to, to leap off this year's campaign. I, I, I want to tell you a little story. Two things happened 30 years ago, one of them very big for Cedar Rapids, one of them very small for Cedar Rapids. The one that's very big is, Lois talked about, Ron talked about, uh, is the start of the Sinclair Society. And Lois talked about the charter member. There are people with blue ribbons out here, and I want to recognize them. If the people with the blue ribbons could stand up, those are our charter members. Give them one more round, because these people... These folks have been giving, and, and probably the theme of, of my campaign, Mike, Molly and I's campaign, is giving back. And, and Lois talked about it, uh, and, and these folks have been giving back for 30 years. A lot of us give here, but these folks have been doing it year in, year out, so special tribute to them. Uh, Sinclair Society contributes one-fifth of the United Way campaign. $9.9 .9 million, the Sinclair, your membership, your donations, your generosity contributes one-fifth of what we achieve. So if we're successful, the general campaign is successful. If we're not successful, the general campaign has challenges. So uh, another thing, the small thing that happened 30 years ago, a uh, young man right out of Iowa State, on the wrong side of the equation this weekend, <laughs> I uh, was fortunate enough to start his career at CRST. I started with CRST uh, as a management trainee, uh, became a part of this wonderful community that Cedar Rapids is. And right from the beginning, John became president, John Smith, uh, owner and second generation owner of CRST, became president that year. And during his president speech, as, 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 as they announced him as president, we were launching our campaign, our United Way campaign. And I had started in October, it was the first, it was literally my first week there, and John talked about the importance of giving back. And my entire career at CRST, in addition to just working, being the best we can be, John, and continued with Dave and Jamie, but John and Diane have really talked about giving back to the community, and it's been such an influence on Molly and myself that we've done multiple things, volunteering through CRST, culminating with the opportunity uh, to, to be the chairs. The United Way, to me, has proven to be the most effective way to give back, to, to, to give back to the community and what people do. The, we're, we're very fortunate to have the people that we do, uh, and, and so as we look to this year, I want to, one, thank James and Barb Klein for nominating us to be the Sinclair Chairs. Uh, they were Sinclair Chairs for three years uh, running, so James and Barb, thank you. Uh, taking over the chair is, is to me, the, the capstone on, on my 30 years at CRST of giving back uh, and, and working through things. It's an honor for Molly and I to be your chair. We're going to be reaching out to you, talking to you and reaching out to you, and I've got a call to action for you to do some better homework. So, why is it important to give? L Lois gave you a lot of numbers. Uh, the need continues to grow. The need in this community, it's a little bit surprising, I think, sometimes, and as we became the chairs, what really drove it home, as you work clo closer with Lois and her staff, is the numbers. And I want to throw one out that she didn't throw out that just staggered me, 15,000. 
There are 15,000 kids in Cedar Rapids that go hungry. And her great staff, Lois and Tim and Hillary and Erica and the whole staff have expanded a program that now feeds those kids during the summer. Because they get lunch during the school year, but they don't get lunch during the summer. And so they're working to expand that. So the dollars that we give, the amounts that we give, go to feed kids. It's just impossible for me to believe that right here in this great community, we've got 15,000 kids that go hungry, but it really drives home the point that why give is, is it gives back right here in this community to the people that need it. And, and so I really want to thank Lois and her team uh, for their efforts. So it can be done right. I've seen it done right. And being the chair, I've seen it done excellent. Uh, it can be done wrong. And we're very fortunate to have this staff that does such a great job pushing forward these initiatives and making a difference in the community, making a profound impact to people in the community. So, a uh, few more facts. Uh, leadership and giving. 28% of our donors are leadership givers. Sinclair, Quarton, Tocqueville, they give 44% of the, the money that comes in every year. It's critical to increase that support as the need increases to support the communities, the families, the people that, that benefit from Red Ahead, from the lunch programs and, and whatnot. We got one challenge here, both in Cedar Rapids and nationally, the trends Lois and her team shared with us as Molly and I became chairs, aren't working in the right direction. The economy was down in 2008 and, and the numbers have drifted down and, and uh, probably aren't as, as high as we'd like. So we've set a few goals for the Sinclair Group, Sinclair Society this year. One is we want to get back over 1,200 members. We peaked well above that. Uh, it's dribbled off a little bit. We want to get back to 1,200 members. We want to raise $2 million. That's one-fifth of the campaign goal. It's critical that we reach out and get that goal set and get back above 1,200. The goal will be difficult to achieve without you Sinclair members. So I've got a call to action. I've got a little homework for you to do, okay? First one is increase your donation. If you're a Quarton Society member, we invited a lot of Quarton Society members, consider stepping up. If you're a Sinclair Society member, Ted and Kathy Townsend will be glad to t talk to you about stepping up to the Tocqueville Society. Uh, but give, it, give a little bit more. Reach deeper and, and give. The other one, and I'm going off script from Lois just a little bit, but, but the one I think is important, and I was talking to some people on the roof, is just one more. There's 200 of us here tonight. If every one of us gets one more person that we know isn't in the Sinclair Society, I was talking to a gentleman from Rockwell today and I asked him if he knew about the Sinclair Society. Rockwell's a big giver. He's uh, a, a pretty big uh, wheel there. He didn't know about the Sinclair Society. Talk to people and recruit one more person. That's how we'll get above 1,200. Just get one more person. So reach out in the community and talk to one more person about it. Uh, it will make a difference. Last, we have a charter member challenge. So you folks with the blue ribbons, we've got a little work for you to do. The, the, <laughs> you've been working for 30 years, but we're gonna make you work a little bit more. Uh, the challenge is this group gave $375,000 last year, and the goal that's been set for that group is to get to 400,000 by reaching out to some of the past members who have given. If you see a name on the list, reach out to them uh, and, and uh, get them to give. So in wrapping up, I wanna thank you for your generous donations in the past. Welcome you if you're a first time Sinclair, Sin Sinclair Society member. Uh, you can be assured your generosity makes a difference. I also wanna reach out to one special person here who is our vice chair for 2014. Uh, uh, her husband's not here, but Mindy Sork. Uh, Mindy, if you wave your hand. Mindy. Uh, also has a special relationship with this library for the past five years uh, she's put her life and soul into being the lead design architect on the interior of this facility so she's the one that's made everything here happen yeah. 
So with that, we'd like to invite you to stick around, enjoy beverage, answer questions for you, anything you want to ask myself, Molly, as we kick off this campaign. Let's have a fantastic 2013 and let's beat that goal. Thank you very much.